What is up everybody? Time to do an updated video of the top five hot weather riding tips. Cause dang it gets hot down here in Tucson. And the reason why I say this is an updated video is because I am going to be teaching and coaching this summer at Ride Arizona MTC. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna need these tips myself and I'm gonna need to stay hydrated, which you know we'll talk about that soon. Alright, so guys, we're gonna talk about the top five hot weather riding tips. If you like this kind of stuff, please click subscribe. And like I said, I'll be coaching for Ride Arizona MTC this summer. Uh, based, I work for them now, I, I'm coaching for them now. I already, I've already coached uh, one class for them, I'm gonna coach more. And if you wanna take some classes, go down to Ride Arizona MTC. We have it in Phoenix, Casa Grande, Sierra Vista, Tucson. Ask for me, I'll see if I can make it out there. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump in the top five hot weather riding tips. Buzz! All right, so number one, cover up. Now, if you're doing at GAT all the gear all the time, you should be pretty covered, right? I'm pretty covered, but here's the thing. These little holes in my mesh jacket, because you're going to be wearing a mesh jacket during the summer because you want airflow. I've gotten little tiny dot sunburns. <laughs> so underneath this jacket, cover up and wear a long sleeve. Now, does that sound kind of counterintuitive? Kinda, but here's the thing is that if I don't wear a long sleeve and I'm just, you know, having the airflow go through here, one, I'm gonna get sunburns, the little, little baby sunburns, and two, if I sweat, the evaporation is gonna go quick, right? Like, I'm gonna be dehydrated. We're gonna talk about drinking water, and that's pretty obvious, but I'm gonna be super dehydrated because all the sweat just evaporates immediately. Immediately. So if you have a long sleeve, it's gonna trap that moisture and it's gonna keep it close to your skin and then the wind is gonna cool down your wet long sleeve. And I say wet, it's just water, sweat, whatever. It's not, you're not soaking wet, hopefully you're not. And it's gonna keep you cooler longer. Uh, there's some uh, products out there like Under Armour, uh, uh, Hot Gear, um, Under Armour, you know, just like stuff like that that really help out. But here's the thing is just wear something underneath it. Maybe something super light. I'm not talking like a wool blanket. I'm talking like just a super thin long sleeve that will uh, absorb the water and it won't make it so it evaporates quicker because you can literally evaporate all your moisture super quick while riding. Another thing is use sunblock. Right now I got exposure on the back of my neck, which if you guys have been riding for any length of time, especially in the summertime or any time out in the road, you're gonna get like this nice ring <laughs> around your neck. And you get sunburned, I mean, you don't want to get skin cancer, especially out here in the Arizonas, because we get crazy, crazy sun exposure. So use sunblock. There's nothing wrong with using sunblock. There's some moisturizing sunblock. You'd be, it's, it's great. And on top of that, use chapstick. You'd be surprised, my lips are chapped from all the wind. So use chapstick. Now here we go. Drink water. It's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. But here's the thing: your body's made up with a lot of water. Okay, your body needs water to function. Your brain needs water to function. Your, your organs need water to function. Your muscles need water to function. Uh, you need electrolytes, certain electrolytes, you know, sodium, potassium for your body and heart and all that stuff to function. Uh, but the main thing is water. You're gonna be evaporating a lot. You're gonna be uh, getting rid of a lot of moisture by riding. So you're gonna need to drink water. Drink plenty of water. And yeah, you know, if you have to go to the bathroom break, go to the bathroom break. That's the cool thing is that you can take some some breaks, which once again, we'll talk about pretty soon. So uh, drink some water, take a break, go pee, relax, and drink enough to where you're not thirsty anymore. If you're starting to get thirsty, if you're starting to get thirsty, then you are behind the eight ball. Drink some water. You don't have to have clear urine. You don't have to have clear urine. That's that You're drinking a lot at that point, which is great, but you don't need to. Maybe like a light yellow. One thing you don't want to have is dark brown. It looks like Coca-Cola. That right there, go to the hospital, you get, you get your kidneys checked. You probably get some rhabdo or some uh, kidney failure going on there. Another thing is avoid caffeine. I personally love caffeine. I'm always hopped up on caffeine. I, I have about 600 milligrams a day, five to 600 milligrams of caffeine a day. It's how I function, it's what I do. It's, I love it. Live, laugh, love, caffeine. Anyways, try to avoid it. It's a diuretic. It's a diuretic and it's something bad, but you know what? If you're gonna be drinking caffeine, compensate it with some water. If you're gonna drink caffeine, compensate it with a, with a, like a mixture of Gatorade slash water, because Gatorade and water has a little bit of carbs, which will increase your glycogen stores um, if you don't already have them full. 
and that right there is going to help hold water and that right there is going to help hold uh, a few things so you get less fatigue plus it has electrolytes like sodium potassium magnesium all that stuff and like i said it's very important because when you sweat you release that kind of stuff and if it's the diuretic you're going to release it in the urine you're going to release it in your skin and uh, you need that for proper heart function and a few organs to function so that's why electrolytes are so cool and i learned that as an emt lactated ringers and all that stuff anyways the next thing rest and recover guys if you're out riding in the hot summer and you start feeling fatigued that could be a sign of heat exhaustion now there's heat cramps heat exhaustion heat stroke heat cramps is when you start getting cramps as simple as that you start getting the cramps bruh uh, heat exhaustion is when you start feeling a little bit less like yourself and more so like you just worked out like crazy. Uh, your brain function is not going to be as great. Your, your muscle fatigue is going to be pretty terrible. Um, and you're just going to have a bad time. And that's you can start getting super dehydrated. Now heat stroke, hopefully you're not having a heat stroke on your motorcycle because you're pretty much screwed. Heat stroke is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a stroke. That is a massive freaking fin wonder how fast that thing goes. Anyways, <laughs> I'll take a look at it again, guys. Um, anyways, uh, heat stroke is very bad. At a heat stroke level, you need to go to the hospital. Heat exhaustion, you possibly just need to get a replacement of fluids, but most likely go to the hospital. Heat stroke on a bike, you're going to crash. So if you get to that point, <laughs> if, you, if you get a heat stroke, uh, you're in a world of hurt. People die from that all the time, and it can happen easily on a bike. Uh, heat exhaustion can happen easily on a bike. You don't want to pass out while riding, right? So anyways, those are the top five hot weather riding tips and I'll be uh, teaching and coaching. It's coaching. It's not teaching. I'll be coaching at Ride Arizona MTC down here in Tucson. It's uh, where I'm super close to, but if you guys are all in Phoenix, here's the thing. If you guys are all in Phoenix, you get a class going together and you're like, hey, I want Dan Dan to teach. Hey, I want to see Dan Dan. Hey, hi. <laughs> I'll try my absolute best to make it up there. I promise. I will I'll try my best to make it up there. And that way I can come hang out with you guys, coach with you. And if I'm not even coaching, I'll just come hang out. I'll participate. It's a lot of fun. But with that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe. Check out Ride Arizona MTC. As for me, Trina, Steve, Justin, Paul, everybody. Everybody there. I think there's, there's definitely more people there. But anyways, I'll be seeing you guys later. I'm just riding around this neighborhood for funsies. Take a look at that spoiler again. See if I can get there within 20 seconds. Because that's the end card. <laughs> Alright.